What's up, collective? There is nothing wrong with your television set. There is nothing wrong with your screen. I just have my phone, the camera, the opposite way. I just don't feel like I need to be looked at right now. Because I'm looking kind of bad. But spirit, the first card that came out. A hex backfired. I know you can't see the cards. A hex back has backfired on a young adult. So some of you may be dealing with um, a young adult between the ages 18 and up. Okay, 18 up to, I'll say, 21. Between 18 and 21, to me, I say as a young adult. But this person, excuse me, this person tried to put a hex on you and it's backfiring. So why did this young adult put a hex? Now, this young adult can be a family member. It could be the person you're dealing with, family member. It could be their child. It could be uh, your ex's child. Um, it could be some baby mama drama's child. It could be some baby daddy's drama. Um, baby daddy's child drama. So, who is the person that's a young adult in your life? Now, see, people can be these young people and they watching all the shit on the internet. Don't put it past them and think they can't do no shit. The nerdy kids, don't put it past them that they can't be trying to put no curses or hexes on you. Because they can. Because they nerds and they're they learning this shit online. They're opening up portals and shits. Sending negative shit to even their parents. When they when your kids is mad at you. And they, because something you don't give them. They can throw a, hurt, a hex. Well, I heard hers. A hex or a curse at you. But they don't realize how damaging that is. Now I understand why. Where's where you know the Bible is basically when a child turns eighteen. When when they do what they do, they it's they it's on them what they do when they turn eighteen. So it's some of these. It's a child out here that has turned eighteen and doing trying to send a hex to you because if it's saying hex backfired. That mean they was trying to send a hex to you, towards you. Now, this is not for everybody, but it's for somebody. And I'm not going to say they try to send a hex, uh, a hex to you. They're trying to send a hex out to somebody, and it backfired. And I want you to, um, when it comes to my readings, and if some bad energy comes out, I just need you to rebuke it, okay? You rebuke the good, and you claim the bad. Okay, in the name of Allah, Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, whoever you pray to, okay, your most high, our most high, the most high, okay. So tell me more about this young adult. I'm going to get some energy about this young adult that threw a hex at you. Let me get my other cards. Whatever it is that they're doing, it's backfiring. Whatever hex they try to put on you, it's either gonna backfire or it is currently backfiring. And they may not even be, I'm not saying that this young adult is can be, but not all of them, is out there trying to throw. It, it could be just this child is mad at you. They could be just upset with you because of their father or their mother. Okay, so Spirit, show me the energy of this young adult. Message of concern. Main, not main, male. Mailman, mailman. Somebody could be a mailman. But with the message of concern... What else, Holy Spirit? Car 
card set fell between the seats. Okay, so there's a choice. Out of imprisonment. Somebody could have just got out of prison. This team could have just been released from prison. Or you could be getting a message that this person is getting out of prison. There's someone unofficial. They're not being held in high honor. Okay. So now I see why this, this child is this trying to send hexes to you. This person is not a good person. This young teen, young adult. This young teen wants to spend time with somebody. They may be wanting to spend time with you just to get a piece of your energy to put some sort of magic energy towards you. Because here's a uh, the dog that's loyal. Or some of you, if it's not, this child could be... Now, you have to take it where it resonates. And these cards, each card um, has different, you know... Um, characteristics that can go along with it so i see somebody loyal this child could be loyal he could be your stepchild but he's unofficially not he's not officially your child you may have not given birth to this child you could have um you could have raised him you could be his stepmom some of you this child um was in is in prison others of you this is a different a child that's didn't hold in high honor or you don't hold them in high honor they could get, be getting out of jail this person this child could have had a this young adult this is a young adult this is someone over 18 okay between the ages 18 and 21 try to put a spell on you and it's backfiring or they could be trying to put a put put the hex on their father, because there is a masculine, divine masculine out here, and he's is is like the unofficial person is in the middle of the sit in the situation. The overall energy is a message of concern. So this masculine, he's like, want to apologize possibly to you, divine feminine, if you're up in here. But this child of his is a karmic. And this child, um, this masculine could have put this child in some sort of some sort of facility. And he's now he's he could be 21 and he's getting out. And maybe this this he was trying to. He's trying to write his masculine or I mean, trying to write his father and his father is hasn't wrote back or um, he this could be an energy where this. This son wants to spend time with his father, and his father is is ignoring him. He has this back turned to him. Oh, goddamn. Okay, thank you, spirit. Now I see. I see. Collective. It's a son in here that is getting out of prison, right? This son, he could have went to prison when he was 14, went to jail, or been in some sort of incarceration since he was 14. His father, this, it, it could be his biological father didn't come see him one time while he was in jail in this facility. They could have put him all, oh, they sent somebody to military school or something. Somebody was sent to a military school. <clears throat> they sent this, this man sent this, fa this father energy. He sent his son off to some sort of boot camp, some sort of military school, something. And he didn't, he didn't hold this child in high honor or this child is not holding this man in high honor. This child is wanting to spend time with this man, this father. But he's not spending time with this child. Wow. That's fucked up. So this son is throwing 
a hex. Tell me more spirit. So this 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 uh this adult teen he's pissed off with his father. He's saying this is not officially his father, even though that's his his father. He's saying he's not. Basically, he's like, how would a father, why wouldn't my father write me? This child, this young adult looks at it like, that's not my, that's my, not my dad. And maybe somebody else raised him, but he wanted to hear from his biological father. He, he, either he's not looking at his, uh, father as being official or this father is looking at this son like he's not his son somebody didn't hold somebody in high honor okay and this same person is not not um uh, writing this person contacting this person or something they're they're not communicating with them or they haven't communicated with them and this is a son who has been in some sort of institution in prison in jail camp something and they're about to be released and they're trying to or they're either or they either either been released and they father, they biological father, that's kind of, this, this, this is kind of fucked up from what I see for somebody out there. Wow. Either somebody's father is in the military and they not paying them no attention. Um, this person in the military is not paying his child no attention because he's, I guess he's in the military and, and he's embarrassed that his child was in prison or his child went to jail or somewhere. This child is hexing his father. Yeah, he's hexing him. And that's by him being upset and angry with this man because he didn't write him or call him or visit him while he was in this confined place. So he's pissed. And his father, he's a divine masculine. Mm -hmm. This divine masculine could have been in the military. He could be a police officer in law enforcement or something. He received a message that this child is about to get out or received. And he didn't, he haven't wrote back. He haven't responded. Maybe this, this, child this young adult is 22 years old now because i see two two out here twice some of you may need to look up the angel number 22 22 somebody's birthday could be in february on february 2nd or february 9th or february 8th a lot of things happened in february could have been in february 2022 Somebody's child could have went to jail in 2022, 14 years old. Somebody could be um, 25 years old and in prison and their father not. Whatever age they are, they're in their 20s and their father didn't write them, didn't, you know, um, didn't just, I guess this father is feeling, why is this father, why didn't this father... Write this child, visit this child, communicate with this child. Why didn't his father communicate with this child that was in prison? Change in reverse. Journey. Oh, because this father moved away. He moved to another state. Wow. So he never got to see his son. He never wrote his son. He didn't even tell him. 
damn, and this son could be getting out. And this masculine ain't even there. Don't even live there no more. Wow. Yes, and he's, he's trying to write this masculine. Show me the energy. Or it could be a, a masculine who don't want to move. They don't want to move because of their son. The roles can be reversed, okay? So take it where it resonates. Because the court's not letting somebody out or something ain't going to... Wow. Now, this birdcage out here, the door is free. Somebody is, is being released from jail. That whatever whatever court case that was going against them, I feel like it was dropped. Something was, was dropped. False charges. And this father... Mm. He done moved away behind some shit. What was the false charges? What are the false charges? Why, why did this... See, this father, I feel like he he moved away because of what happened with this child. But the child, I, I don't believe is... is, is, is uh, I believe they're innocent. And this father... He didn't, he, he's not holding this child in high honor. He's not looking up to him. He basically moved away. House in reverse. So, yeah, this, this person could have got out and they don't have nowhere to stay. This masculine then moved to another city of state. Damn, that's fucked up. So this is why this, this son is throwing hexes, this young teen is throwing a hex towards this father because, damn, he just like then left him out in the cold. And this person ain't got no home, nowhere to go. They, they've been released because they was, they was, um, not guilty. And this son why is this true love out here? He really loved his dad at one point, but after he went here and his dad didn't didn't help him, um, even when it comes to trying to survive in, in jail or wherever he was at, the father didn't wrote, didn't write to him. And maybe, oh, oh, okay. So for some of you, this masculine, this father is trying to apologize to this son now. Get the house out in reverse because this, 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 um, because he didn't write him, he moved on him. He didn't tell him where he lived. Wow. And now, oh, this is his karma. He wouldn't, he wouldn't share with this son, but see this, this masculine energy. Now he's going through a storm that he's hiding. Damn. So he 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 basically this divine masculine didn't didn't come through for his son while he was in prison. Now this son either has got released from prison and out, and the masculine is wanting to spend time with him, and the son is like, hell no, fuck you. You didn't write me, you didn't do shit. Don't act like you know me because we out on the streets now. You want to make people think that we got the best relationship and you was doing shit. No, this son is like, fuck that. And I believe then now this, it looks like this son, whatever he was doing in prison, he's gotten out and he's got some sudden wealth and, and he's not sharing it with his father. Wow. Tell me more spirit. So this is why the, the this young, young adult put the hex on their father damn great fortune and he's mad because the masculine could have had money to send him and he wouldn't damn he wouldn't send his son no money he wouldn't do nothing for him while he was in there and the boy just you know he said this masculine this father masculine um treated him colder than a polar bear's toenails and he just don't have the strength to deal with him no more He's trying to receive a message, trying to call him. But this son, either the son is not um, 
talking to the father or the father's not talking to the son and and it's all behind the the father not you know um given to the son while he was locked up or wherever he was at and the father may have did it he may say the son did something that he don't believe in or he don't um he didn't agree with wait a minute wait okay it's time for me to take my son to school peace out